If you're coming over to Mac from Microsoft Windows, full screen mode on the Mac will anger and confuse you. You click that little green button in the top left corner of a window, suddenly all your menus are gone, the dock across the bottom is gone, and you can't do anything. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few awesome shortcuts for actually getting out of full screen mode. I'm gonna show you some really great tips just to make windows bigger so you can see what you're doing. And I'm gonna show you how full screen mode actually works and it's called mission control on the Mac. When you click that little green button in the top left corner of a window, you lose the menus across the top, you lose the dock across the bottom. The slow way or the usual way of getting it back is you just move your mouse to the top left corner all the way to the top and pause there for a sec and then it comes back and you can press the green button again to get out of full screen mode. Or uh, if the dock disappears at the bottom, you just move your mouse down to the bottom, but keep going down. It's like you're pulling downwards and the dock will come up. Some keyboard shortcuts and some, some better ways of getting in and out of full screen mode. The keyboard command is command control F. So with my left hand, I've got my finger on command and control, and then I press F to get out of full screen mode. Command control F again to go into full screen mode. You can also do command tab when you're in a full screen app. If you do command tab to switch to a different app, it will get you out of that app. But when you do command tab again to switch back to Microsoft Word, let go, it switches you back to full screen mode. Uh, another great option is on the laptop, you just do a three finger swipe to either the left or the right and that brings you out of the full screen window and back to your other windows to your desktop and then back again. So let's say you want to avoid all of that hassle and you just want some shortcuts for making a window bigger. For most apps, if you wanna make it bigger or full screen, you can just double click the gray bar at the top of the screen, the same one that you would normally drag the window around with. If I double click this, it'll size it nicely to the corners of the screen. Another really good option is to double click the corner of a window and that'll jump it up to the top. Same with the bottom right, you can double click that. Um, that works nicely in Safari as well. Just double click the top left, bottom right. You can also uh, double click just the right side or just the bottom and it will resize nicely. So I'm just double clicking the edges there. Uh, another one that I love and do all the time is a proportional resize. Like if you have a small window like this, I hold the option key on the keyboard and I drag from the bottom right. And when I do that, the top left window moves as well and it'll, it'll stop beautifully in the corner in the top left. So those are some really good options for just resizing a window to make it look better and nicely in the corner. So let's talk about mission control. When you make an app full screen, it's actually putting it into a second desktop, almost as though you have plugged in a second screen. And so you've got your main desktop here that has all your other windows, and then Microsoft Word is alone in a second desktop. This view, it shows you all your open windows and it shows you the different desktops or full screen apps that you have open at the top. And you get here by just doing a three finger swipe up or down on your laptop trackpad. So to get into Mission Control, like I said, you do a three finger swipe up or down on a laptop. Uh, you can also press the Mission Control keyboard button that comes with the uh, newer laptops and newer Apple keyboards. The shortcut is the Control up arrow or Control down arrow to get out of it. And you can actually change that shortcut from system preferences. I'll show you, you go to Apple menu, system preferences, and then mission control. And then here where you can choose different keyboard commands for mission control. And you can also set up a hot corner. I would usually do top right as mission control. So when you do, you move your mouse into the top right corner of your screen, then it gets you into mission control. So those are a few really good options for just getting into and getting out of mission control. From here, like from the actual mission control screen, you could take an app out of full screen mode. You just hover your mouse over it for a second and then you'll get the little shrink button here in the top left. You can also add another desktop by hitting the plus sign in the top right. 
And then you can move apps into other desktops. Like I can move notes into this second desktop. So now when I go to this desktop, I see only notes. Do a three finger swipe left and I've got all my other windows here. And if I want to get notes out of mission control, again, I would just do a three finger swipe up, move my mouse up to the top here. And if I hover my mouse over the second desktop, I can just click the X to get rid of that second desktop and it comes back with all the other ones. You can also add something as a full screen app. If I want mail to be full screen, I would just drag it up here, pause for a second and it'll create a new desktop. So you can see there are some sort of gestures and pausing type things that work in mission control. This is how you control this system, this environment. Another option too is you can actually do split screen mode. So if I want to have a Word document split screen with Apple Mail, I just put it to the right or left side of the same desktop that has Apple Mail in it. Then when I click on this, I'm actually going to see Mail on the left, Microsoft Word on the right. And so I could type stuff while looking at an email message. And then I do three fingers swipe up again or control up arrow and it gets me back to mission control. If I'm tired of all this, I just hit the little shrinky button in the top left and it gets everything back out to normal and just one desktop. Lastly, you can get into that split screen mode also, the left and right thing by hovering your mouse over the green button here and then you'll get tile window to left side of screen or tile window to right side of screen. So if I do tile window to the left, then I can have Word on the left and now I can choose which app I want to be on the right. Hopefully now you will feel a little bit less annoyed about the full screen mode and you'll have some more productivity options that you can play with. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list, and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you're in. Boom, 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 boom. Going into the next video.